GRTV is uh, Akihabara, Tokyo, and we're going to take you on a tour of Super Potato, the retro superstore with three stories of video game history. It's a me! A Famicom is about 4,000 yen, depending on uh, condition, and uh, that's not a lot of money. The Super Famicom is even less expensive, about 2,600 yen, which is about half of a, of a new game for uh, PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 here. Uh, Super Famicom, basically on this side we have uh, the raw cassettes, of course the, the boxes are uh, not always in pristine condition, so a lot of the games are just, uh, just the cartridges. You can see Super Mario World and Donkey Kong and Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, some of the classics, Super Metroid, Star Fox, F-Zero. There's so many games in Super Nintendo that are real classics. But uh, on this side is perhaps even more interesting, uh, actual boxed versions that are in excellent condition. You can see uh, Final Fantasy V down there. Uh, some Dragon Quest games, Beauty and the Beast, there's Final Fight, another classic, Breath of Fire, the original Star Ocean, <laughs> plenty of stuff that I could buy here. Of course I don't have a Super Famicom at home, so... so. Um, now we're out at the uh, Dreamcast area, there's a lot of uh, anime games and stuff that I have no idea what it is, Shenmue. It's uh, 900 yen, about a McDonald's menu, a little bit more than a McDonald's menu. Steel. Some more Saturn games. Plenty of soundtracks as well here. Uh, this is the rare soundtracks and the collections. You got a Fantasy Star one there. A lot of Konami stuff up here. Uh, some of it is extremely ex expensive, so uh, it's Nintendo stuff. Um, this is the shelf for Famicom Disk System, of course, never released outside of Japan. Uh, you can see some of the stuff here. Kid Icarus, it's just amazing to see it because I've never seen it before, so... And now we're getting into the Famicom stuff, Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, as you can see, there's also a lot of cartridges here. Uh, yeah, the, the boxes easily break and here we have the original mother. 2000 yen, steel. Some PC Engine stuff, of course PC Engine was never released in Europe and in, uh, in the US it was released as Turbo Graphics. Here's Snatcher, Hideo Kojima game. I don't know too much about PC Engine since I never have one myself. But uh, it was fairly successful in, in Japan and you can see the, the evidence in a lot of shelf space here at Super Potato. Rampage. You gotta love the, the Master System boxes. Uh, we have more Mega Drive stuff here. Uh, and on the bottom we have some Virtual Boy games. Mario Tennis for instance. And uh, Telero Boxer. Of course uh, Virtual Boy wasn't really successful and it's nice to see that it's still still alive somewhere. We have the 32X games, the, the add-on uh, to Mega Drive. There weren't really that many games released on 32X, but um, you can see Star Wars Arcade, for instance, one of the games. Oh, this was my first game on Mega Drive. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, uh, where you pay, play paper, rock, scissors to, uh, to win items. Golden Axe, classic arcade game. They have Golden Axe 2 and 3 as well here and several of them. Even more consoles here, we got a lot of different Sega stuff. We got the uh, 32X, 
got the Mega Adapter that allowed you to play uh, Master System or Mark III games on the Mega Drive. Uh, we've got plenty of the old version of Mega Drive. We've got Mega Drive 2. Got some Dreamcasts. Virtual Memory Unit. Memory unit. Got the Wonder Mega over there, which was made by uh, GVC, which uh, I think it had a C CD, Mega CD and uh, Mega Drive combined. Uh, moving on here, we've got a lot of Saturns. Of course, if you need a new uh, new controller for your old console, it's never too late. There's some more Neo Geo games, uh, Neo Geo CD games, and uh, here we have uh, Mark III, the, the Master System games. This, this is Alien Syndrome, Afterburner, Wonder Boy in uh, Monster Land, uh, which was the first Monster World game. Stuff for uh, the, the first Sega console. This, this uh, console never made it anywhere outside of Japan. Now on the right side here we've got some Neo Geo Pocket stuff. Uh, this is the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And uh, below we have some Wonders Wonderswan stuff. A lot of fantasy, Final Fantasy games were released on Wonderswan. From number one to number four I actually had this game, you know, G-Lock. Oh, this is a classic. The, the game that came with the Game Gear, uh, Columns. And, um, well, here we have Mega Drive. <laughs> 